Vocabulary 9. Hi, welcome to the next Best My Test TOEFL vocabulary video. Today we focus on heredity, genetics and reproduction. We kick off with the word heredity. Heredity is the passing on of mental and physical characteristics from parents to their offspring via genes. I'll explain genes just now. In other words, the offspring inherit certain characteristics from their parents via structures called genes. And the adjective we use is hereditary. Certain characteristics are hereditary. They are inherited from the parents via the genes. Here is a sample sentence. Hemophilia is primarily a hereditary genetic disorder. The blood of haemophiliacs does not clot properly, which means haemophiliacs continue bleeding for prolonged periods after an injury. Now for the word gene. A gene is a unit of heredity. It is a portion of a DNA molecule. And genes are passed on from parents to their offspring, and they control certain physical and mental characteristics. For instance, your hair colour is determined by your genes, and so is your eye colour. And the adjectival form of the noun gene is genetic. Here are the sample sentences. Before genes were even discovered, Czech friar Gregor Mendel was able to describe how genetic traits are passed on from one generation to the next. He used pea plants for his experiments. Mendel crossbred peas that produced different seeds, either green and smooth or wrinkled and yellow, to find out how genetic traits were passed on from generation to generation. Our next word is reproduction. Reproduction is the process of creating offspring sexually or asexually. In informal language, we call it making babies. And the verb that we use to refer to making these babies, to creating offspring sexually or asexually, is reproduce. Here are the sample sentences. The normal reproductive rate for wild giant pandas is approximately one offspring every two years. In captivity, reproduction becomes an even greater challenge. I'm sure you have deduced the meaning of the word offspring from the sentences I've used in the video so far. But just in case you're still uncertain, offspring are the children of animals or humans. We can use the word in its singular form or in its plural form. Here is a sample sentence. Recent research suggests that the hormone oxytocin primes nerve cells in the mother's brain to hear when her infant offspring is experiencing distress. The last term we'll examine today is genetic diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the total number of genetic characteristics in the genetic makeup of a species. A good example would be the Galapagos finches. Today there are many different finch species living on the Galapagos Islands, but they all descend from a common ancestor which arrived on the islands between two and three million years ago, so scientists believe. And this original finch had enough genetic diversity in its genetic makeup to allow different finches to develop. All of them had different beak forms and those beak forms which developed allowed them to exploit certain food niches all as a result of great genetic diversity here are the sample sentences the more threatened a species is the greater the inevitability that the animals will inbreed inbreeding reduces genetic diversity limited genetic diversity makes a species vulnerable to disease. For example, pandemic infections can wipe out a population if none of the animals have the right immune system variants to resist the infection. That's all from me today. 
For more information about TOEFL vocabularies or TOEFL practices, go to the www.bestmytest.com website. Goodbye. Thank you.